Hi, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make some delicious French toast. So these are all the ingredients here and you can tweak these ingredients a little bit to your liking, but um, I'm gonna start off with the eggs. Usually I do about three eggs and that will do about seven uh, slices of toast. Um, the bread I choose is this uh, nature's own, um, perfectly crafted. It's a thick sliced white, really, really good. The bread makes a huge difference. Have some vanilla extract. Um, if you're out of that, you can also use some of this stuff here. This is a uh, caramel macchiato kind of creamer. Give it some nice flavor. I'm um, gonna use a little bit of uh, cinnamon. I usually use about a, th a third teaspoon of cinnamon and two tablespoons of uh, sugar. This is actually the raw cane sugar and just a pinch of salt and then one third cup of some milk. And then I have some butter right over here for the uh, pan so it doesn't stick on there. Also gives it some flavor as well and then have a nice little platter so you can put all your French toast on there. So if you check out the description below, I'll have all the ingredients with the exact measurements down there so you can read off of that. But let's go and get started. All right, so I have all the ingredients in my nice flat bowl that I'm gonna use later on so I can dip the bread in there. But what you wanna do now is use your fork and whisk everything to where it's nice and uniform. You don't have any clumps or anything like that. So I'm gonna stir this up real quick for you all and then I'll get started cooking. All right, I just did a few pieces of French toast. As you can see, this is what it looks like before, and this is after. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I did. So basically, warm up your pan. I put it on around seven-ish on the knob on the stove. Get you some butter, put it on there, and then you're just going to even it out. Make sure it's sizzling nice and hot, and this will prevent it from sticking. Next, you're gonna go ahead and whisk the remaining batter there to make sure that everything's all evened out and no cinnamon is clumping up or anything like that. We're gonna get our bread and take it for a nice little dip. And I do two on one pan. So set one down just like that. Drop it in there like that. Oops, missed the spot. Lay it down there just like so. So I let that sit there for about a minute and a half on one side and then flip it. All right, it's been about a minute and a half on the second side. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on here. You can see how nice that is. So I'm gonna lay that down right over here. The second one. up Put it right there so three eggs later we have seven pieces of french toast look how delicious those look all right all done with the french toast i just add some syrup some powdered sugar some strawberries blueberries and bacon and scrambled eggs hope you enjoyed today's video please be sure to like comment subscribe and share this video and as always thank you all for watching